Oh. <sighs> What's up, everyone? Punchy back with Higurashi when they cry. Chapter three. Mm. Tatari Goroshi. Mouthful for me. Uh, I say welcome back. Welcome to a new chapter. Uh, you guys, well, the few of you that actually comment on the videos happen to say that this is like, this is an awesome chapter, can't wait for it, and so, therefore, I'm excited for it. It's also, I thought about it, because it's weird, because a lot of you that comment, or maybe some of you that watch but don't comment, have already played Higurashi, and, because obviously it's been out for years and years, yet... You know, you guys are watching me play it, so it's, it, it is weird. Because usually people like go search for videos that they don't have, so they can watch someone play it. Anyway, uh, let's get in. Let's just let's just, let's just go into it. No more talking. Tatari Goroshi, the shortest scenario, is it now? Man, curse, or coincidence? How are the conjectures inside you solidifying? I look forward to whether those conjectures will waver or become a cornerstone in the scenario. The difficulty is the worst. You'll probably not e even be able to make conjectures. Uh, I was already confused with the <laughs> uh, the last chapter because they brought up some really good points. Hmm. Already doesn't bode well. The snake in the well was happy, for it did not care what was outside the well. The snake in the well was happy, for it had not to do with what happened outside the well. And you were happy too, for you did not know what happened outside the well. Frederica Berncastel. Oh, I actually caught it. Well, before it, uh, before it went away. That's new. 80, 1983. The early year, 58th year, early summer of the 58th year of the Showa era. Okay, so 1983. It's important to remember dates. It was a very humid day. Not even a slight breeze was blowing. It had been an unpleasant summer one that wasn't only hot, but sweltering so. There were various articles of clothing hung out to dry in messy apartment windows, but the lack of wind evoked an impression far removed from coolness. In fact, it felt only felt more oppressive. There were crooked houses and apartments lining the narrow, twisting road. In addition, there were planters and flower plots whose contents were beginning to rot, as well as bicycles and cars on the sides of the road, making it even more cramped, more oppressive, and all the more sweltering. Nobody who was in this place at this time was visiting it, visiting it voluntarily. In spite of what everyone might expect, a single motorcycle came rolling in. Who could it be? The lone motorcycle, which couldn't be called neat, even as flattery, pulled up to a two-story apartment complex and stopped there. A man, fairly old and wrinkled, stepped off. When the housewife hanging out the laundry noticed him, she called out. Well, hello there. It's quite hot today again, isn't it? Whew, you've got that right. I feel like I'm going to boil out here. <laughs> huh. Is it like Oishi? Oh, no, it's not. Oh, right, landlord. I didn't think that would be the first thing you said. Ah, sorry, sorry. The fluorescent lights, right? I completely forgot. <laughs> no, not that. Don't you smell it? There's a terrible smell about. I've been smelling it since this morning. Wait, what's this? It reeks! Did the sewers get backed up again? Do something about it, landlord! I've had to keep my nose plugged all day long. <laughs> You'd still be looking plenty lovely plugging your nose, my dear. <laughs> but dirty old man. There was an unhygienic drainage channel running behind the apartment. The lattice from which it flowed was stuffed with branches and fallen leaves, and when filth got caught up in them, it created an awful stench in the summertime. That sounds horrific. I don't know. I don't really understand what it is. I might have to look it up. Could you tell the municipal office about it? 
the drain will end up buried at this rate. Well, yikes. It's completely blocked. Uh, it'll start back up if you poke it with a stick. Ran across the fence over the drainage channel and picked up a filthy drying pole sitting nearby. Oh, it's a drying pole. Not a pole that is dry. <laughs> he must have planned to stick it in the drain and clear it out. Ah, uh, wait, landlord, stop that. If you mix all it all strange, if you do that, it will smell terrible. <laughs> it smells if it's clogged and smells if it's mixed. Which should I choose? <laughs> he shoved the drying pole into the filth in the lattice. Of course, it did nothing to help the accumulation of waste. Gah, it's a dead cat. This is the health center's job. Cats and dogs smell awful when they die. A bamboo pole is not going to do much good. Garbage bags, old clothes, they throw all kinds of stuff in there. And is that a duck I see? Well, of course it stinks. The nerve of some people. The drain channel was already unsanitary. What was a little more garbage at this point? The stream of such impr imprudent people was never ending, and now this channel turned into a garbage dump. Is this Hinozawa? I don't think the people of Hinozawa would do this. When he poked a pile of old clothes floating in the sewage, a black, of, a black cloud of smoke floated out in the water. The two of them grimaced at the terribly bizarre repulsive sight. Gah, he's got maggots, eh? Someone must have thrown kitchen waste in. What? Landlord? What's that? What? Just more garbage. Look, la landlord, that's... That's... Huh? Huh? Oh, like... I'm going to assume a dead body. Because that's what Higurashi's all about, eh? Oh, hello. Good work today. Uh, what's that terrible stench? Hey, Bruce, get everyone to surround this area, including further up the channel. It's in plain sight of the two floor houses. Identity of the deceased, unknown. Sex, female. Age, estimated to be late 20s or early 30s. Time of death, about two or three days ago. She was probably abandoned after death. Naked too? Figuring out who she will be is rough. Well, I figured who she is will be rough. Contact the community division and ask if anyone's gone missing. They probably weighed her down so she'd sink. Then the weights came off and she floated to the top. That's uh, consistent with them in the channel. Uh, I wonder if she came from the channel. I mean the channel. From the bottomless, so-called bottomless swamp. But why in a drainage sewer of all things? Would have been better under an overpass or in the mountains, you know? It would have been outside our jurisdiction, right? But it looks like they never wanted to hide the corpse at all. Did they do it so she would be found? As a warning or something? Well, that's, that's all about he, uh, Hina Mazawa. This slice in her stomach definitely wasn't from a fish eating her. She was cut open and entitled were dragged out? Yeah, we know where she's from. They really made a show out of killing her. Doesn't the Chinese Mafia do these sort of traditional punishments? Ask Shige-san in section 4 if he's having trouble with the Yakuza. On it, sir. Still, what a terrible way to go. Hey, don't her innards poking out like that look like some, look like, look sort of like the salad soap that you can get in Kyoto? Maybe you suck chopsticks in, noodles will pop out. See? Oh! P please, give me a break. <laughs> her intestines were pulled out, and her ears and nose were cut off. That's definitely not how. I, that's definitely not how I want to go. Her fingers are in a bad state too. There are long nails stuck in it all. There are long nails stuck in all of them on both hands. We know what that is. And well, it's uh, 73. Mm, kind of forget when. Uh, pun well, I think the date that Punchy comes around. What kind of torture was this anyway? Higurashi when they cry. That's that's the kind of torture from Hinozawa. Man, starts off with a bang. Uh, police somewhere else, uh, maybe in Okinomiya. I found a body in the channel. 
Oh, in yeah, I guess the channel. That's where it came from. Um, obviously from the swamp. But what's weird is they wanted it to be found. Hmm. The most relaxing time during the school day. Lunch, for sure. Everyone brought their desks side by side, like always, and we all ate together. Yeah. Making sure before I start, I got the uh, PS3 graphics. Oh my. Mian san, if I may say, your lunch looks quite appetizing today. There's so many different things, it's wonderful. Satoko and Rika chan looked at Mian's lunch, shouting gladly. Let's have a look. Whoa. I just packed in some leftovers from last night. All the elders were having a drinking party at my house yesterday. I managed to nab some of what they didn't eat. <laughs> so that's why they all look like snacks you could have with sake. Hmm. They're but leftovers, mere scraps of food, but when arranged in a bento box so cleanly, they look impressive. It looks like part of a full course meal at a high class restaurant. People seem to decide if they like things mainly based on their first impression, so I thought maybe a taste of a bento would be proportional to how pretty it was when you opened it. You may seem refined, unrefined to me, Ansan, but you are positively splendid at arranging food like this. Her room is nice and tidy too. Michan is a lot more organized and a lot more polite than everyone thinks. Uh, well, she's uh... <laughs> I don't think that anymore. It's all the same, once it's in your stomach. I'd have thought Mian would say something like that, but to think she had this kind of taste... Hmm. You can't judge a book by its cover. No, I read into it, and I did not like what I found. Mian was careful in everything she did. She never misstepped, faltered, or messed up. I see. She is our club president, after all. Yours is nothing to scoff at either, I know. Your crab kamaboko flower is very pretty. Huh. A crab flower. Hmm. Reminding myself to Google this. You know, Brenna, your lunch always has, like, an art to it. Like, it has rabbit shaped apple slices and carrot flowers and stuff. Brenna's bento wasn't all about taste. It was like, hmm. Like she always puts her heart into it or something. It wasn't just good, it made all your insides all nice and warm. It's like, um, I don't know if you guys watch Food Wars. It's kind of like, oh, I can't remember her name. She's the one from the country, and that's the kind of cooking she has. <laughs> Thanks. It's not quite as good as Michan's, but I wanted to make it really cute. Oh. Cooking is about skill. It's about love. In that sense, I don't even come to your feet. Love, huh? Yeah. Just from looking at her bento, I could definitely feel that Redna put her heart and soul into making it. That's what her bento was like. The taste isn't at all that isn't all that counts for a bento. How it looks also matters. I suppose you must learn from this too. Huh. So, let's see Satoko and Rika-chan's up-and-coming bento. Whoa! Ta-da! Whoa ho ho ho! Yesterday our neighbors shared some meat with us, so we ended up grilling it for our bento. These ones too, they had such an impact. They were bursting at the seams with grilled meat. At a glance, I was, it was too impactful for a girl's bento, but... When you thought about eating it with all your friends, it brought more than enough color to the table. Wow. At first, it looks like the kind of crude bento that a jock would eat, but there's so many different things in here. Like boiled spinach and soy sauce, and stewed tajiki. Rika-chan, you're really good at this kind of unaffected cooking, huh? Yep, I think Rika-chan will make a great wife when she grows up. I have a tight hold on my future husband. Husband for Rika-chan, huh? At first, that sounded appealing. It did, but I felt like I, a married life with her would be anything but normal. I agree. But really, everyone was amazing. They all look so young, and yet they're all capable of cooking for themselves. Ugh, don't remind me, Punchy. I need to get on that. Don't myself. 
I would sort of cook whenever I went camping with my family, but making lunch every day was a level I definitely couldn't reach. It was just so time consuming. I could only really cook in my spare time. When I thought about it like that, it really made everyone stand out more. Frankly, I respected them. Hmm? Huh? I feel like maybe th this doesn't apply only apply to other people? Come to think of it, this morning, when I was eating breakfast half asleep, I think my mom was saying something really important. Uh... Uh... Ah! With a hysteric groan, I suddenly stood up, startling everyone at once. Whoa, whoa, what's wrong? Wrong! <coughs> You'll make us joke if you shout like that, so suddenly, you know. There's rice coming out of your nose, Satoko. I'd forgotten. All this stuff about cooking for yourself, it applied to me too. Ah, oh, punchy nut. Pack a lunch. Pack a punch. Punchy? Your mom and dad need to go to Tokyo again for business. Hmm, yeah. <sighs> Sleepy. Your dad's mentor fell ill right before an event he was taking part in. It's a very important event, and they need someone to fill in. Well, Dad does what he has to do for his job. So your dad and I, you see, we need to go to Tokyo as fast as we can to help with the event. We might have to stay here, there for a few days depending on what happens. That sounds annoying. <sighs> While we're gone, we won't be here, so you'll need to make your own meals yourself. Are you okay with that, Punchy? I'll be fine. Humans can do anything when they're desperate. Is that so? That's a relief. You can at least cook rice, right? And you can make miso soup as well. Then you can just buy some side dishes and you'll have a meal. A meal? Yeah. I could cook rice with my camping kit. Never used a rice cooker before. <laughs> I've only ever made instant miso soup that you can make in a pot of boiling water, too. Well, I'll think of something. Um, delicious breakfast from mom. If you can cook for yourself, then you don't need much money, do you? No weeding out. It's too expensive. Yes. Uh, PSA, guys. Uh, don't eat out too much. Learn how to cook. Uh, especially healthier or just tasty things, I guess. And, uh... Save yourself some money. You're at the age where you should learn about cooking and personal finances now, after all. Yep, yep. I'll get by. I'll get by. No, I won't! What was I thinking? I was half asleep and I made such crazy empty promises. Just like manga characters always do at times like these. I bend over backwards and scratch fiercely at my head. I don't know. I don't know how to do a scratching sound. Just... I don't know if you could hear that. Huh. Punchy-kun, your parents sure have it rough. Anyway, you need to keep things in order while they're gone. Uh, anyways, food! Food! My parents aren't here. I have to make it all myself, you know? This is a huge emergency. Should you not simply give up and cook for yourself? Punchy-san, did you not make a fabulous curry dish for the curry party previously? Uh, listen here. My mom taught me how to cook that curry when we camped, and it's the best I can do. I can't eat curry three meals a day. Well, I just went to a Japanese mart actually today, and got myself some curry because some ladies were giving out free samples, and, and I'm excited for it. I mean, it's just junk food in the first place. Oh, crap, is it? I didn't know that. <laughs> There's no nutritional balance whatsoever, and it's just completely... Uh, stupid. Shh. Oh, me and Satoka put their hands over my mouth. Oh, no. Not, not, not. A moment later, the door rattled open, and Chi-sensei, a known curry maniac, suddenly poked her head in. Did I just hear someone bad-mouthing curry? No, 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 we didn't say anything. 
Everyone's faces went totally white, and they all shook their heads in denial. Her eyes rolled over the classroom. Her glare wasn't just a teacher's ordinary stare. Is that so? Must have been the wind. She sent it gave one more look around to the classroom, then closed the door and went back to the teacher's lounge. I may have been shouting, but for her to hear from all the way across the hall of the teacher's lounge, that teacher's terrifying. Not to mention, as soon as you said it, she was already at the door. Oh, the good times. Punch shot. You can disparage other food doll you want, but you might want to stay away from curry. At least, as long as you live in Hinamazawa. Okay. I'm sorry. That's what I said. But still, I can't have curry for every meal. And cup ramen is good because you only eat it once in a while. If you eat it for every meal, you get bored of it pretty quickly. Rice and miso soup, and a good side dish. Yeah. That's what a Japanese table should look like. Why can't you just try co to cook for yourself? Yeah, go watch Food Wars, man. Rice you can make yourself is really good. This old man thinks it's more of a p more pain than good. But experience it every once in a while might be nice. That's right. Life is all about experiences, right? But when you cut your fingers or burn yourself, it's so sad. So very sad. With everyone encouraging me like this, I started to feel like maybe I could do it if I tried. Or if I tried to. Though approximately one person didn't sound like she was encouraging me. Cooking is a skill I have to learn at some point, since I want to live on my own one day. Maybe learning now wouldn't be so bad. I'm pretty uneasy about it, but... You're right. If I don't understand how to cook a few things around here, then I won't be in good shape the next time our club does a cooking show on Punchy. Really, it's just... I mean, I don't know. I'm not an expert myself, but... You get some chicken breast, get some, I don't know, some sauce of some sort, put it in bag together, let's sit overnight, and... Pro tips from Punchy. Oh ho ho ho! You are correct. That clever trick of yours in the last curry contest won't work every time after all. As if scorning me, Satoko ridiculed my comeback from a hopeless situation in a certain do or die curry showdown. Oh, that's interesting. We're coming we're not coming back from the beginning. So I guess that'll help um, with its length, which I guess is what it's in the beginning, right? And what are you so relaxed for? You relied entirely on Rikachan back then, didn't you? What did you cook at the time exactly? You put a bag of salt in Rena's curry, a bag of salt in Mian's rice, and you flipped over my pan. I relapsed into my grudge over the last curry showdown. For now, I calm my unquellable anger by pinching Stoko's ears. Oh. My attack was because that's what they were doing for the club. I may not look it like it, but I can do a little bit of cooking. Can you now? Even when you couldn't peel one carrot during the showdown and had to get Rika to do it? Don't be so daft. People get better every day, you know. If you think I'll always be crummy at cooking, then you're quite mistaken. That's true. She, uh, I mean, chilled tofu isn't really... At least I don't think it's hard. I don't know if you do anything to it. But she did make dinner for them last chapter. Right, Rika? I have to watch, or else I get worried about the pot and the flame. Sometimes you forget to turn the gas off, too. <laughs> oh, oh, laugh track. Everyone burst into laughter. That shouldn't be an issue with cooking. Even I would never do that. I don't want to hear that from someone who eats nothing but cup ramen. But, but, Satoka can cook pretty well for herself, you know. Rena, it's fine. You don't need to force yourself to cover up for her like that. No, she's not trying to cover her for her or anything. It's just that Rikachan's cooking is by far the best of all of us, so hers doesn't stand out. Satoka has mastered the basics too, right? At the very least, she can cook rice and miso soup. Well... 
She can't quite tell the difference between cauliflower and broccoli though. Star. Oh man, what was that first chapter? Th they're both the same anyway once you boil them. Stoko erupted into anger, making two fists and swinging them above her head. Everyone laughed a lot after that. Wahaha! <laughs> we could just pretend you're hearing the, ch the children laughter from the beginning. <laughs> the others don't matter. I cannot stand being laughed at, but by you, Punchy San. <laughs> yes, perhaps I do lag behind everyone else in terms of cooking skill, but at least I'm confident I'd never lose to you, Satoko. Not to you, at least. Oh, sounds like a challenge. What? What was that? You have the gall to say you're confident. That's what's daft here. I might not seem like a good cook, but I take turns with Rika, you know. I can cook just fine for myself, thank you. I see, I see. Good for you for being able to cook. I'll buy some candy for you as a present later. I patted Satoko on the head while I made fun of her. Satoko seemed to know I was making fun of her too, since her face went bright red very qu quickly, and steam started to pour out like she was a kettle. Mm, you don't believe me, do you? Anyway, anyway, I can cook far better than you can, punchy son. I see. Then if you can tell me the difference between cauliflower and broccoli, I'll believe you. Come on, let's hear it. Oh, um, the green one is broccoli. Oh, no, 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 the yellow one. Cauliflower is red, blue, green. Ugh. Come on now, what color is broccoli? It's not red, blue, green like a television. Come on, say it, say it. Uh, Satoko can cook just fine without knowing the color of broccoli is white. Good for you, good for you. Wow, stupid pun pun. Sure, why not? Wow. Oh, there's nothing to cry hysterically about. She's so goddamn cute. I struck her head as hard as I could. Ruffle, ruffle, ruffle. Hmm. If you're going to act so smug, then you can surely show us something better than Satoko. Remarked me and giving me just a slightly mean smile. Actually, well, I had no confidence at all in my cooking. But the situation carried me along, and I decided to deliver an impressive declaration. Just you wait. Tonight, I'll make the best darn meal you've ever seen. I'll even make a little too much and pack it for lunch tomorrow. You'll be so surprised you'll fall over. That sounds like fun. I can't wait for lunchtime tomorrow. Oh, punch it, you've dug yourself into a hole here. <laughs> Rika patted, Rika chan patted me on the head. Her words of can't wait sounded so transparent. <laughs> Ren is excited too. I promise I won't laugh no matter what you make. Alright, so, maybe I'll go all out of my bento tomorrow, too. Then let's do this. Let's have a bento showdown tomorrow. As a club activity, of course. We'll throw in a punishment game, too. My, what an ingenious idea that is. How is that, Punchy-san? I'll give you one chance to back down. Stoko wiped her tears and snarled at me, as if this were her chance to turn things around. Uh, maybe this is bad. I feel like maybe the conversation is getting pretty out of hand. Uh, if I apologize, now's my chance? What came out of my Pachi Maribaro's mouth was a statement so reckless it, it even frightened me. Yeah, you're wrong. I bet tomorrow will knock you right out of your shoes. Wow! Everyone raised their voices in surprise at my bold, confident reply. Oh, shit. Now I've done it. What have I done? I'm so irresponsible. So, Mian-san, what sort of fantastic punishment game will you have to play if we lose? Stoko grinned fearlessly. As if to say that it was already decided I'd be playing I'd be playing said fantastic punishment game. Coo 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 coo, let's see. Okay, how about this? Whoever loses tomorrow's bento showdown, during lunch break tomorrow, has to go up to Chi-sensei 
as she's eating in the teacher's lounge and say bad things about curry. Oh, that's a serious one. And you know what? I think we'll end it there for today. Um, I know, like I, like I said, I usually try to go for 20 to 25, but this is the first this is the first episode of chapter three i'm excited um also because like i said we're starting from it looks like we're starting from the curry challenge of chapter two so that's a lot already like because i mean i guess i'm just already still used to chapter one having to go through everything uh i wonder if i wonder i don't is she on in this one like i wonder if there are any other new characters in this we'll see what we anyway guys uh, thanks for watching. I hope you guys will stick with me through chapter 3 and on to chapter 4 because I'm excited to play that one too. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time. I'll let you guys know how the curry is. Bye bye